Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look inside the computer case, and in this episode specifically, we're taking a look at the RAM. Now, the RAM, or the random access memory, is the short-term memory inside your computer system. Anything you're doing on a daily basis, like working in a word processing document, is being done, more or less, in RAM. Now, one of the things that you need to make sure of on a computer system is that you have enough RAM to do your job properly. So, one of the things that a lot of people do to increase the performance of their system is to improve the RAM in their system. Now, you can typically find the RAM on the motherboard somewhere next to the processor, and it's generally a long stick that's uh, set up in a slot on the motherboard itself. Now, each motherboard typically has between two and four slots. If you've got a very small computer, it may just be one stick, but typically you'll see them in at least two. And the reason for that is because a lot of machines these days use something called dual channel memory. So, we'll see on this board that we actually have two slots of yellow and two slots of a darker color, and that indicates where you should put the RAM. You want to put two slots, or two sticks of RAM in, in the two yellow slots for greater performance. It actually runs the two of them in parallel and gets better performance out of it that way. So the next two you'd put in would be in the darker slots. Now if you want to upgrade your RAM, the first thing you need to do is you need to get it out of the board. So you locate the spot on the board where it is, and you'll see two little tabs on the side. First thing you do is you click on the two tabs from the side and pull them outwards, gently. What this will do is it'll raise the RAM up a little bit, and then you can grab the RAM and take it out. Now you can identify the RAM typically by looking at the stickers on it, or they may have a stencil on it indicating what the model number is of the RAM. You can look that up online to find out how much RAM you're, you've got in your system currently and what type of RAM it is. And this is important because you'll want to replace it with the same type, not necessarily from the same manufacturer. So if you have Kingston, you can switch to Crucial or vice versa. But typically you want to make sure that it is the same speed of RAM and that it uh, will fit in the same slot. So you've got different types of RAM including DDR, DDR2, now DDR3. Older machines will have something called SD RAM. And you can identify these by the types of uh, configuration they have. DDR and DDR2 and DDR3 will typically have a single slot on the bottom of the uh, the RAM itself. You can see a little notch there that uh, allows it to go into the slot and make sure that you're getting the right kind in there. Older machines that have SD RAM will have two slots uh, located one closer to the center and then one closer to the far end of the slot. So you want to make sure you're replacing it with the same type, SD RAM for SD RAM, DDR for DDR, DDR2 for DDR2, and DDR3 for DDR3. This is why it can be important to understand what type of motherboard you have in your system because even without having to take the RAM out, just by knowing the make and model of your motherboard, you can go online and see the specs for it and understand what type of RAM your system takes and what the maximum amount it would take. Then when you have the new RAM that you want to put into your system, whether you're adding it to the RAM you already have or whether you're replacing all of the RAM that came out of your system, then you'll just put it up to the slot like so, nudge it in gently so you don't damage anything when you're going in, and then ease it in at the last bit, give it a little bit of a hard push and then make sure that the tabs on either side snug in against the side of the, of the RAM. If it isn't actually attached in, if it isn't nudged in, then it isn't necessarily connected and it won't work properly. Anyhow, that's a look at the RAM on your system. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series.